Hi guys, I'm Dr. Sandeep, your surgery guy. Now, uh, we've been talking about a lot of queries and this query really hit me hard. And this was a recent query from a lot of students who have recently, you know, uh, joined MBBS or planning to join MBBS, especially from an international medical uh, college, right? So we call it as FMG, that is foreign medical graduates or an IMG or international medical graduate. I prefer calling it as an IMG and inter international medical graduate. So the question is, sir, how do I approach MBBS if I'm in first year and I'm a foreign medical graduate? First of all, you're a medical graduate. You don't need to worry about whether you're doing from an international college or a national college. It doesn't matter. You have the same amount of IQ, same amount of acumen. It is just that you got filtered out from a small pool of competition it's fine nothing has gone wrong it's all due there right all that you have to do is yes you have to put more effort yes you have to work harder than your counterpart but that's doable now when it comes out to the approach no first of all enjoy right absorb that you guys have made it to that one percent of the medical pool where everybody dreams of you guys are doctors you are gonna be doctors right so appreciate yourself have some good time with yourself think okay fine whatever has happened has happened from there on i am not going to give it away now the approach is is more or less depends upon uh, what type of guidance do you have, uh, what type of college do you have, do you have good academics, do you have an average academics, do you have a good exposure to the clinical cases, uh, all that. And I've, I've also heard that language is a barrier when it comes down to the international medical graduates. Keep all that aside. The first three years is purely based upon theory and it is purely based upon what you understand and demonstrate as you move forward. And remember, this first three years of your MBBS will make the base for your rest of the years and for your clinical practice also. So in the first year when you're reading anatomy, yes, you have to read anatomy from the standard textbook. That is going to be the Gray's Anatomy, but yes, it's gonna be really, really big and clutty. Now here is going to be a smart work. If I was you, I would have, because you know, when back in our days, we didn't have much of resource to look up to. The only thing that we had is book, read, understand, retain, read, understand, retain. But for you now, there is a lot of sources which are available, which are going to make it easy and palatable, right? So what I suggest is, come down to any platform that you want. Uh, we would we would be much, much more happier. And you know, we have got one of the best anatomy faculty in India. You can just go watch his lectures, finish that. Maximum sir would have given you in 70 to 60 hours. Right in those 60, 70 hours, you would have completed your entire anatomy. Let's say that you are watching like a TV series, right? If you start watching two hours a day, by the time it is 30 days in a month time, you'd have completely uh, gone through the entire anatomy lecture, right? So you now know what is there in anatomy. Now you go back to your book. Now you start reading, I'll tell you, this will click your mind. Everything that you read and what you've heard from the sir will start correlating, you start understanding better. Same thing you have to do with your uh, physiology, with your biochemistry, with your pathology, with your microbiology, with your pharmacology, your forensic medicine. Everything has to be done and dealt in the same way. I am a huge, 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 huge fan of a standard textbook. You need to keep that standard textbook with you. You need to start making a habit of reading. There is no shortcut. You don't really, really need to buy a hard physical copy to carry. There are PDFs available. Go get the PDF, start reading. And trust me, medicine is extremely contagious, right? Uh, it, 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 it's, it's addictive. You start understanding it, it just pulls you back in. The only thing, no, I'll tell you, uh, do this experiment if you don't believe me. Read one or two pages from Grey's Anatomy. I'm sure you're not going to understand anything. Leave that book, go do whatever you're doing. Come back tomorrow, read again those two pages, you'll understand 10 to 15%. Leave it, right? You say, yeah, it's not my cup of tea. Fine, you leave it, you go again. Come back on the third day, you start reading again. This time you'll understand 50 to 60% of it and you'll start retaining also. And then you go back and come back on the fourth day, you will understand every single word written in that. And every time you read, even today, you know, when I read Bailey and Love, which is the textbook for surgery, even if I've read hundreds of times, even when I read a, a chapter or topic which I've already read, I still feel that I've learned something new. That's the beauty of it. You cannot ignore and deny it. You have to do it. Start making a habit of reading standard textbooks. Get to a source, make your own notes, start correlating it. And then at the end, we also need to crack the exam. So let's say you have done the video, 
you have started to read from the book start doing a bit of questions because it will draw you know it's it's like to and fro tango right you do questions you understand better you read more you understand question better you start to read more you read more you do questions better right then you do it, it, it's like a tandem right and it will merge and sync together so in the first year of mbbs start doing your first year mbbs uh, topics or i can say uh, the subjects which are present especially anatomy and physiology that is going to be a clutter of it don't worry about it initially when you start reading physiology it will just keep bouncing do this phenomena read go back read go back read go back on the fourth day you will understand everything nobody gets in a single go even today when i read a new topic i will like what the hell i read it again i read it again i read it again i make a point that i read it again and again and again over on so that i retain it better right so this is what you need to do for your mbbs as you go across start start early and start well do not compromise on source do not compromise on the books start reading i know it looks like an effort but trust me if you would read one page a day that too in your complete entirety right you will start making a habit of that one page a day into two pages into three pages into four pages trust me by that your average speed will become 10 to 15 pages a day and if that's the scenario you can finish any book in the medicine under 45 days right and that's the message from my side keep reaching out to me i love your questions i like the way you ask questions i like to interact with the young minds any question any time any query reach out to me at any possible platform that you have we will be there for you all the time all the best guys see you in your residency signing off dr sandeep